I'm walking through the back hall at uh, the Civic Center, or the SSO place, and uh, I'm meeting Rachel Barton Pine here. So there's, there we go. Rachel! <gasps> hey, it's Ronnie Miller. I'm here with violinist and all-around awesome person, Rachel Barton Pine, and uh, she's given us a few moments to do a little sit-down interview. Now, one of the first things I heard about you uh, <laughs> was you uh -oh. basically got into violin uh, because you liked some dresses. Well, it wasn't quite like that, but definitely the dresses were part of the appeal. <laughs> I also just really was intrigued by the sound of the instrument. Oh, that's a good thing. And sure enough, as soon as I started playing the violin, I just loved the way it sounded. I mean, I probably didn't sound any good when I first started, but somehow or another I loved it anyway, and um, I've loved it ever since. That's Rachel, by the way. Very cool, right? Have you ever been to the Syracuse area before? Absolutely. I played with the orchestra, I think, like eight years ago or so. Oh, wow. um, and I've been friends with Maestro Daniel Hagee since way back in the early 90s. One of his first jobs was as conductor of the Chicago Youth Symphony. And I was born in Chicago. I've lived in Chicago my whole life. So I used to drop by and coach the kids and wow. collaborate with him in that way. And then we ended up making an album together in 1997, which was really some exciting, groundbreaking repertoire, music by black composers from the 1700s and 1800s, the time of Mozart, the time of Wieniawski, et cetera. So that was really, really um, just a fun and fascinating project. Now you're in an actual band. Yes, this uh, is a very Earth, new development. Earth and Grave, right? Earth and Grave. <laughs> very cool. I mean, this is, it's its um, referred to as like Doom. It's very epic, very... Doom mixed with Thrash. Okay, Do Doom and Thrash. Very, very cool. I, I got a chance to listen to some of it, and the CD got released uh, in June of, of this past year, yes. right? Yes. This friend of mine, Mark Wood, he developed this new kind of electric violin that I don't even consider to really be a violin. I think it's more of like a cousin of the violin or an evolution of the violin, because it's not a violin plugged in. It's a whole different animal. It's called the Viper, and it looks <laughs> like a flying V guitar. It has six strings, and it straps onto the body so it's head-free, which cool. means you can headbang while you play it. You don't have to hold it with your jawbone. Uh, speaking of violins, how old is this violin? And like, just tell me about it. Yeah, 1742, which wow. is considered uh, Guineri's best year. Guineri and Stradivari are the two greatest violin makers ever, and it's really kind of a matter of taste which one you prefer. Like many of the old antique fiddles, it has a nickname. It's known as the ex-soldat. It always has to be the ex-somebody who's dead. And Marie Soldat you know, was one of the first champions of the Brahms Violin Concerto, which was her signature piece, but she also played a lot of chamber music with Brahms. And so what that means is she was playing this violin, she was playing chamber music with Brahms, my violin got to jam with Brahms. And now it gets to play Pantera. <laughs> that is so awesome. I'm like befuddled right now. I don't even, I'm sitting next to well, Rachel Barton Pine, but also a violin that, that Brahms has, has picked up. That, unbelievable. Can I touch the top of it? Actually, you're not allowed to touch any of the varnished parts. Okay. Uh, but you can touch the fingerboard. Right there? Yes. Okay. Where the fingers go. Okay. <laughs> Magic finger. Oh, I got a shirt. I got to show you. Oh my God, did you see this? Oh my God. Isn't that I awesome? One. Dude, you totally. Do? Online. Online. Okay, you have yeah. to do that. I think we can do Rachel Barton Pine somehow. But well, then I already have... have an RBP rock logo. Obviously. Thank you so much for all the time, and I, I can't thank you enough. I can't wait to see you perform. I'm just like beaming right now. <laughs> beaming. Big fan, big fan. Oh, well, thank you so big much fan. for for doing this. Thank this, you. This is really cool.